<laughs> good day, good day. <laughs> How the hook are you? Welcome to Roverland. This is your friend Dan. Oh, and do I have something for you today? I think this is a one off Wednesday. Yeah, I think so because I, I looked at this number and uh, yeah. Well, anyway, let's uh, get right into it. College Park GA. College Park GA. Do you know where GA is at? Well, I'll tell you, that's Georgia. Yeah, Georgia, sweet Georgia. That's right. And uh, what do we got here? All right. I'm uh, living the good life. We're going to be eating some Splenda. Awesome. Isn't that Splenda? <laughs> Yeah, that's just Splenda. <laughs> All right, that's not what we're. Uh, that's not what I bought. Uh, I like my real sugar. That's what uh, I gotta tell you. So, all right, let's get into it, boy. We got the good packing going on here. Oh yeah, here we are. Nothing in there. Get rid of this garbage here. Oh, knock the camera around. Yeah, that's always good. All right, all right. Ah, what do we got? Thank you so much. Enjoy. That's right. We're going to enjoy it right here. That's right. Oh, yes. Yes, it's a one on Wednesday. Not a clue what is going on. I don't know. Really. I don't know. We got all kinds of notes. There you go. A couple of them. All right. Isn't that nice? <laughs> all right. Let's get into this. Hopefully it didn't tape it up too much. Because I want to show you this. Uh, found this on uh, eBay, I believe. Yes. And ba bam! Check it out. Yes. Now, this was something that I have never have had in my life. No. K Line Cruisers die cast 143rd scale. Um, yeah. Quality, value, variety, and service. I don't know what kind of service we're talking about. Ages 8 through adult. I'd be uh, more on the adult side. So the uh, box is kind of... The window is kind of taking some uh, damage there. But this K-Line, I don't know anything about it. K-Line Cruisers. Um, maybe we can get some details here. Uh, let's see. What is that? Made in China. I am not sure. Oh, uh, that's Chapel Hill, Nor NC. That's North Carolina. Huh. Very, very interesting. Oh, here we go. This is a K94409 Land Rover, the 4.6 HSE. That's a pretty, uh, precise so yeah just a very unique little thing i've never heard or seen of such a thing now i i don't remember exactly uh what i paid for this um sorry about that i know it's not like uh 20 bucks or something like that it was uh it was in a good price range let's see if we can open that it's not uh sealed so we're gonna open this bugger up but uh <clears throat> as you know excuse me um, your friend Dan O, aka Dan Winchell, <laughs> uh, Roverland here. I have uh, quite a uh, Land Rover collection. I started this channel to um, learn more about uh, Land Rover toys, Land Rovers in in uh, in in general, the real things as well. We have never we've not gotten into that. Uh, we do trash and trinkets, you know, and stuff like that. Check out the playlist. But uh, one of my goals, as far as a collector of uh, Land Rover memorabilia and stuff, oh, I see the. Uh, we might have to go the other way on this. The uh, the window box, the window is uh, prohibiting it from sliding. The the uh, plastic window is made, but it's not sealed on this end as well. So we are going to uh, go ahead and open this end as well. <clears throat> Excuse me. Don't have chocolate milk before you start videoing. <laughs> it kind of clogs clogs the old uh, wind wind bay pipes there. Get that in there. Just kind of there we go. Pop that out of there. Handy dandy uh, 
ruler there. Just kind of, I'm trying to uh, preserve the packaging as much as possible. Here it comes. Now it's going to come on out. So yeah, so uh, uh, like I was saying, uh, one of the things that I'm trying to do here at uh, Roverland is um, I would love to have a collection um, and and possibly even get into the uh, Guinness Book of World Records. Um, but uh, as with my Land Rover collection, but mo mainly, um, yes, um, quantity, but also um, I'm more recently trying to get into the uh, specific category of um, uh, a Land Rover model from every toy maker that made a Land Rover and um, now this is I mean I don't know if that's uh, feasible uh, on a uh, limited blue collar uh, budget <laughs> I'm not a multi-millionaire I'm just a regular old guy and uh, just trying to uh, get along in this world but uh, it, it's kind of hard I mean you can do anything if you got money uh, and uh, that's something that I don't have. And uh, yeah, so anyway, uh, this is something that I, I do not know anything about, the K-Line Cruisers. And this is just a beautiful model. You can see it's uh, tethered to a uh, pretty hefty piece of cardboard. And, and then it's got a cardboard shadow box uh, built around it. And uh, the front doors do open. And it is a right hooker, so this is a European spec, per se. Very nice details there. We're going to try getting some better shots here. Um, going to zoom in a little bit. Yeah, the uh, dash got two or three colors. I don't know if you can see the center council there. It's got the white on the uh, center council. It's got a red strip. I don't know if that's supposed to be... Uh, like uh, wood grain there, um, piping around the seats, you can see, very nice. Uh, the uh, center console uh, behind the gear shift has got uh, buttons there, uh, very, very nice. This is, uh, like you said, this was the uh, 4.6 HSE. Uh, I want to say this is uh, 2000, is this about a 2000 uh, year? But uh, lens inserts, got the wipers on the uh, headlights. Uh, very, very nice. I like these rims. These are kind of nice, nice rims. Uh, nice. It's just not a uh, blue, This uh, uh, just a solid silver. This has got a blue tint to it. It also has uh, lens details in the back. Very, very nice. Colored, what, three colors in those lens details. Uh, very nice deck deck lid on the back very cool uh, I, I like the uh, piping uh, details to the seats they're not just plain tan seats they have uh, piping in them that's that is really a nice add to it uh, nice clear windshield uh, I think the uh, wipers are not separate but they're painted separate so very, very nice there. Uh, even the uh, washer uh, spigots on the hood are painted. So they really did some nice uh, added details with the paintbrush. Uh, very, very cool. Very, very cool. Um, yeah, very, very nice. Does have a uh, the door skins on the uh, inside of the door. See if we can get that in back in focus there. There you go. Very nice. Has the uh, back of the mirror has some reflective uh, sticker, I believe that is. No, that's paint. But uh, very, very nice. Um, the glass is um, inserted into the body, which uh, I believe that, you know, it's a die cast body with a plastic base. Uh, but also the uh, die cast is painted as well as the uh, black trim around the windows. So they molded the windows, 
they painted the windows and then they put them in and then they are also um, like two-tone on the body because the body is one paint color but then the uh, last pillar here is all painted in matte to give it that floating roof look uh, nice sunroof there very very nice uh, paint job on it like I say it's uh, it's not a uh, just a regular gray it's got a blue tint to it so got some fog lights there those are painted in but uh, very very nice this is just an awesome awesome little uh, model 143rd scale once again um, not really sure die cast k-line cruisers with a k so there you go very very interesting uh, once again it came from Chapel Hill North Carolina uh, made in China so yeah Wow do you have any of these? This is the big part now. Do you have any of these? Have you come across these before? Um, yeah, just pretty neat little piece. I love it. I love it. I love it. One of Wednesday. Tell me if you've got one of these. Come on over to uh, Instagram, uh, Roverland channel, Facebook, Roverland. Uh, yeah, make sure you give me a thumbs up here. Subscribe, share, and uh, yeah, just wow cool do you like this one I, I love it i love it great addition to the bod to the collection it's got a box we'll try to fix that up a little bit and uh, put it on the shelf all righty that's it folks this is your friend dano thank you for joining me today and as always slow traffic keep right and have a great rover day